Okay, so you work so hard to generate leads, right? Only to have them sit there because you are not sure how to follow up and close on the sale. Well, in this video, I will be sharing with you how you can do all that. First, let's understand the difference between prospecting and marketing. Prospecting is active through email messages, phone calls, in-person interviews, Facebook messages, text messages, one-on-one -on -one warm market. Now marketing is passive, meaning you are doing blog posts, podcasts, YouTube videos, created for an unknown person to react to and hope that they like it, share it, and comment. Now when you're prospecting to people, you already know them. The important thing to understand is do not send them to a capture page, a link or a page created so that they can put their information in again. This becomes redundant and it can be very annoying for the individual that already said yes to getting more information from you. You already have their contact information. Don't make them do it again. Already they've said yes to more information from you and already they are a lead. Send them directly to the company information or training that does not require a login or inputting of their information in again. Send them to a company resource or your own resource that's a webinar, an audio, a video, or whatever the information is. Something that they can consume within very few steps, preferably a link that has a play button. Now, if you send them to a capture page, they may just not bother at all to continue to see the information. Okay, when marketing, the biggest mistake that most people make here is sending them straight to a company link or information about the product or service without a bridge in between them to buffer. You see, when someone doesn't know you, it would be more effective if you created some sort of a video or bridge clip about yourself and some value that you can give to them right there before you send them to a product or service that you represent. What that does is it creates trust and builds on a relationship with the person on the other end. You see, once they opt into your ad or marketing material, try not to let the next page land on a company product or service. It's less effective because people do not like to be sold. They like to buy. So if you create that buffer video or landing page that provides value, people may feel comfortable to look at buying or signing up. I've learned these techniques from Ray. He's a seven-figure earner and he's all about getting results. So when he gives me tips, I take it very seriously. If you want to learn more about recruiting and sponsoring though, click on the link below to access a free training on how you can recruit quality leaders into your MLM business, even if you are just getting started. That's just a freebie here. So let's go back. So how not to cause resistance and eliminate curiosity. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you an example. Now, if you were part of a health and wellness product, right? Let's say it's a weight loss product. You decide that you wanna post your business everywhere about your company and say, buy this and sign up here with me and join my business and buy my products, yummy, tasty. You can, you can lose weight from it. You see, when you do this, many times Sometimes it may cause resistance because you sound like you're trying too hard to pitch to them and as I mentioned earlier people don't like to feel sold to okay so there are two problems that may occur when you do this all right number one people may not click on your link and just google the company name and then they come across a few scam comments made by other people out there or negative reviews made by others out there and you know there are plenty out there it'll turn your prospects off and they would just say in their minds it's not for me Right there, resistance was caused and you've just lost a prospect. Number two, the second problem, what also happens is you've just eliminated curiosity from them so they have no reason to click on your link. The solution to all this, focus your marketing on either product or opportunity. So how do you do that? Okay, on the capture page for product, you can say something like, are you sick of feeling tired because of your overweight body and always feeling insecure? There are three ingredients you should probably avoid in your food that may cause the weight gain. Enter your name and email to learn more. I bet if the person reading that fits the profile, they will definitely enter the information. In that phrase, it creates curiosity. And don't worry, you're not trying to market to everyone, just the people that fits the profile it would be a much easier way to convert them on the capture page for an opportunity you can say something like are you struggling to pay your bills and living paycheck to paycheck learn the three ways to make a side income without it interfering with what you are currently doing enter your name and email for more information again this creates curiosity and they can't Google your company to see negative reviews since they don't know the name of your company. The key is to get them to click on the link and enter the information to become a lead for future follow-up and sales. Now, how to follow up on a product interest? 
Now, depending on the type of capture page you've created, if it's about the product, we talked about the benefits. If they enter the information, you know they are interested in the product and right there, you have a commonality to open up in your follow-up. For an example, in your follow-up call, you can say something alongside this. I see you've entered your information on one of my websites about wanting to learn more about the ingredients that you should avoid in foods that cause weight gain. Is that correct? They may say yes. And you can say, well, great. Did you find the information helpful? Here you will know if they are interested in your type of weight loss product or not. You will be asking them more questions. Would you like to know about a product when paired with the avoidance of these mentioned ingredients, how they can substantially decrease your weight and give you more energy, etc., etc.? The key is to ask questions that draws out a problem, a pain that they are going through. You want to learn about what the underlying issue is so that you can figure out if what you have to offer can be a solution for them. Bottom line is finding out if what you have will fit what they need. Okay, so how do you follow up on an opportunity interest? You will focus on the benefits of the business. You see, one very important thing to understand if it is for a business opportunity follow up. Your capture page usually leads them to a video link about the value. In this example, the value you should have had on the video would have been about the three ways to make a side income. The important thing here is you want to spend the most time with people who have watched your video. If they said that they have not, you may insist that they do first before you continue with more information about your opportunity. If they insist that you tell them right there over the phone, you can say something like this. Well, to be honest, I have a list of people that I need to follow up with right now that already watched the video and I'll need to prioritize. But if you're still interested, why don't you watch the video first because it'll explain it in a very simple way. If I tell you over the phone, I'll still need you to watch the video to see if this business is a fit for you or not. So if you'd like, perhaps tomorrow I can follow up with you. I have a 2 p.m. or a 5 p.m. open. How soon can you watch that video? You see, what this does is it forces them to watch the video. You should not be spending too much time with people who won't watch the video. Just focus on generating more leads and prospects instead so you don't get into desperate mode. The objective is to get the video to do all the explaining and all you will need to do later is answer some questions. It will also let them know if the business is a fit for them or not and lets them understand that you are not desperate to sign up everyone and anyone if it is not a fit. If someone doesn't want to watch the video and insists you tell them over the phone, just leave them hanging. They are not serious enough about the business opportunity and may be wasting your time anyway. It's okay to just leave them hanging there. What this also does is it creates an authority posture because you are confident and not relying on their signups to succeed. It's basically saying you will make it with or without them. It is way easier to work with and you are also teaching them a duplicating way to prospect and follow up with leads in the future. Now, if you start teaching people how to use the company system, you will be much more successful. So there you have it, a few ways that you can follow up and close on your leads. I hope you found this to be helpful. Share it with your team if you do. And don't forget to click on the link below to grab Ray's free training on how you can recruit quality leaders into your MLM business, even if you're just getting started, all right? Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.